Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, we are going to be starting off by shopping at Home Goods. Then we're gonna head back home and do a lot of decorating. I'm going to create a coffee station and give a piece of furniture a makeover. We'll do a little bit of cleaning. So I hope that you enjoy today's video and thank you so much for watching. So like I said, we're starting off at Home Goods. I hadn't been in here in a really long time, so I wanted to come in and see what they had new for spring. I'm starting off in the pillow section. If you need throw pillows for your home, Home Goods is the place to go. Right when you walk in the door straight ahead, you'll see just aisles and aisles of pillows and throw blankets. They also have a lot of outdoor pillows and cushions right now and just so many different beautiful colors for springtime. I'm doing another giveaway in this video. I'm giving away a $50 home goods gift card so that one of you can go to home goods and buy something for your home on me so to enter the giveaway just give this video a thumbs up and then be sure that you're subscribed to the hannah's happy home youtube channel and then just leave a comment down below in the comment section of this video and the winner will be randomly selected from the comments Okay, so now I'm going to head over to the furniture section and over to the left of the furniture section, they have a section with red tagged clearance items. And there was quite a few items in here today. I really loved this cute little gray and black office chair. It didn't look like there was anything wrong with it, but it was marked down quite a bit. Today, I was also on the hunt for a console table that I could use for a coffee station. I did like this one, but the price was a little bit too high. They also had this beautiful, genuine leather chair. This was really pretty and comfortable. And of course, it's always fun to go to the back wall of the furniture section and look through all of the beautiful rugs that they have. And they did have some smaller rugs there today, quite a few further back in the store. The next few aisles after the furniture section are full of canvases and pictures. They had a lot of new ones in here right now. A lot of new canvases along the back wall. I really loved this ocean picture. They always have some really cute pictures and canvases for a little kid's room. The next two aisles are nightstands, benches, ottomans. I really loved this light colored bench right here. That would be really cute in a bathroom. And then when you turn the corner after that, you enter the lighting section. They've got a ton of lamps. I think they had about three aisles of lamps today. They're all usually organized by color. They do have an aisle of smaller rugs as well that I always like to look through. These will be beside the curtains and the bedding and different things like that. My two favorite places to get smaller rugs like this is here at Home Goods and then also over at Marshalls. Marshalls usually has a really good selection of smaller rugs like this. And they also did have a lot of new bedding and quilts and blankets over here in the bedding section. And then their bathroom section was just jam packed full of new stuff along the back wall. They have tons of towels and wash rags. And then this aisle, the baskets is always one of my favorites. I really liked these two right here. And then if you need small little trash cans like this for a bathroom, Home Goods is the place to go because they always have a huge selection for a really great price. And then I started looking through the kitchen section because like I said, I am going to be piecing together a coffee station and I love Home Goods kitchen section. They always have a great selection here. The 
these storage containers with the wooden lids were so neat. I might have to come back and get a couple of these. They also had some great little sketchbooks and planners. These little wooden signs are to put your Wi-Fi password on in like your guest bedroom. I thought that was really cute. And then I loved these chore chart and shopping list signs. Okay, so I'm back home now and I'm going to show you everything that I found on my shopping trip. So like I said, I was looking for a console table that I could use for a coffee station. I wasn't really able to find anything. I went in several different stores and then I found this really cute console table at Hobby Lobby and I got it on clearance for a really great price. So I thought I'll get this and I'll paint it with some black chalk paint and then I will add on these really cute bronzed handles and just give it a little bit of a makeover, help it to match my dining room set a little bit better. And I got these two baskets from at home. The curtains are to try out in my office from Target. I got a rug pad for the rug at the front door, a curtain rod for my office, and then this faux potted cactus is from Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off. And then I also got this little faux snake plant from Ross. If I ever see these at Ross, I always grab one. I already have two of these in my house, a bigger one, and then like a medium sized one and now they have these smaller ones so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. I grabbed one more of these hanging succulents from Hobby Lobby because they're my favorite for styling shelves and things. The little basket is from the dollar section at Target and I thought these mug racks with the mugs inside were so cute from Home Goods. Only $9 for the mug rack and the mugs and they're going to match my coffee station perfectly. I also got this little wooden tray. I thought this might be cute on the coffee coffee station. It was from Home Goods, and then I got two different coffee containers to try out here. This one from Home Goods was only $5.99, but the one from Hearth and Hand at Target was $16.99. And I did just end up going with the cheaper one from Home Goods. It was so cute and I really loved the lid on that. Okay, so let's get started with this coffee station. The first thing I did was to remove the old handles and then I moved this over on top of some plastic before I got started painting. I'm going to be using some black Jolie chalk paint, a chalk brush, and then also some black finishing wax. I also have a few other smaller paint brushes just in case I need them for some touch up paint. So this table just looked like it had one coat of white primer paint on it. So I didn't bother sanding this piece down. I just wiped it down and then got started with the chalk paint. And the finish of this turned out amazing. I think it turned out even better than my piano did that I chalk painted. Just like how I did the piano, I'm not going in perfect brush strokes. I'm trying to do brush strokes in different directions throughout the piece just to give it that look that I'm going for. I did this on the piano and I love how it turned out. I've seen a lot of different people do this on YouTube as well. And I'll be sure and link everything that I'm using down below in the description box. So I gave this one coat of the black chalk paint and then I got busy with other projects and this ended up sitting here for about 24 hours hours, which I think was really good for it and maybe that's why the finish turned out so well. So the first coat sat for 24 hours and then I did the second coat and then that coat sat for several hours. It was almost a whole nother day and then I did the finishing wax coat all over the whole thing.
Okay, so it's finally done. I added the new handles on the front and now it's time to decorate and create a coffee station. The glass jar I already had on hand and then the biscotti I got from Home Goods. These are so good to have with your coffee so I thought it would be fun to have them here beside the coffee maker at the coffee station. And now I'm just trying to finish decorating. Sometimes it can take me a little while to piece together what I'm imagining in my head. I just have to move things around, step back, look at it for a while, um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. Okay, so now that I got the top decorated, I'm starting to fill up the drawers. I filled these up with K-cups, filters, basically anything that I need for coffee. And then the far right drawer, I did put card games in there because if we play games, we play them here at the dining room table. So I figured why not use one of these drawers to keep the card games in for easy access.
So the only thing I haven't decided on yet with this coffee station is what I'm going to put above it. My first thought was a circle mirror, but we have way too many circle mirrors in this house. So I'm not quite sure what I'll be putting up here yet. Leave your suggestions down below in the comments on what you think I should hang above the coffee station. The next area I'm decorating is the piano. I pulled everything off of there, dusted it all, and then I'll redecorate the top of it. After I had painted this piano, I did decorate it, but it never quite felt complete. It felt like it was still missing something. It needed a little bit more, and so I got a few things to add up here. This little basket, like I said, from the Target dollar spot. I used the little stand from that plant from Hobby Lobby to put the plant from Ross on top of, and then I just added some books over to the right with the bookends that I had from Target and then a little bit of greenery there to the side. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up my mess over here and tidy up a bit and then I'll add this rug pad underneath of the rug. This was the only size they had left at Home Goods. It's a little bit small for this rug, but it still will work to just help to keep it in place because this rug kept sliding everywhere and this rug pad has been working great to help keep it in place. And this rug is from Boutique Rugs. I do have a 60% off coupon code. If you guys want to buy anything from them, I'll have that typed up down below in the description box as well as a link for this rug and then that plant stand I showed in I think it was two decorating videos ago I got that from Hobby Lobby now I'm going to work on tidying up this living room and I do have some plans for this living room I want to add a little bit of color in here maybe for spring and summertime we'll see um, I just mainly want to switch things up a little bit in here as far as the pillows and the decor on the mantle maybe even even the rug because this rug is very thin and not very cozy to walk on I just want to put something in here that's a little bit thicker and cozier for the living room this rug right here is just very thin and feels like you're still walking on the wood floor when you go across it it is a really great rug though I love the pattern I just wish that they would have made it just a little bit thicker okay so I have had this leather care kit for probably almost two months now because I've been wanting to condition this leather couch it just has gotten so scratched up and the reason being is because it is just really dry it sits here by the window get some sunshine and we live in Arizona so obviously it dried out pretty quickly in here and I should have conditioned it a long time ago but I went ahead and did that today you could see there the scratches and so I just got the conditioner I wiped off all the dust that would be on the couch first and then I just got a rag and got that conditioner bottle open and started to rub the the conditioner onto the couch and it worked amazing there is no more scratches on this couch the couch is a lot softer and it looks way better now so I'm really happy with how it turned out I'll be sure and link this leather kit down below in the description box because it took away all of the scratches on the couch which is awesome
Okay, so we had guest day overnight at our house about one week ago for just one night. So I had the guest bed out here with all the sheets on and everything. And my sister was coming to stay with me for a week the day after this. So I went ahead and pulled those sheets and everything off of the bed from the previous guests. Put them in the washer to get them clean so I could put them back on the guest bed for my sister. And I thought I would just show this footage so that you could see our setup for when we have overnight guests. We keep this Helix mattress and platform in the closet over there to the right. We can store it like sideways in this closet perfectly. And then when we have overnight guests, we can just pull it out on the floor here and just have it right here in the bonus room. And then the guests can have their own room. They can walk through the laundry room here to their own guest bathroom and they can be on this side of the house away from us at night and have their privacy and everything so it just works out great this way and I'll be sure and link the helix mattress and platform down below because it's just great for guests and smaller spaces if you have to move it around a lot if you're keeping it in a closet like us or something like that it's really easy to move around Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it and don't forget to enter the $50 home goods gift card giveaway. I'll have all of the details typed up down in the description box and also the comments as well. And I will see you in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye.